After a devastating fire, a neighborhood rallies together to help a family that is left homeless. And left in the dark, a day before the birthday celebrations, the Washington Monument is left standing without light. Tonight, we'll try to illuminate the issue. From ABC 7 News, this is a breaking news alert. That breaking news tonight from Arlington. Very early this morning, a man was shot and killed at a housewarming party. Just within the last couple of hours, police identified the suspected gunman. That is the man you're about to see on your screen. And Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live with the very latest. Jeff. Well, Kimberly, as you mentioned, this investigation started just after 3.30 this morning. Arlington police have been working it hard all day today, speaking with witnesses. Now they finally know the man they believe to be responsible for this crime. Here he is, 37-year-old Jason Johnson of Washington, D.C. You see his picture there on the screen. He is wanted for murder in his role for this morning's homicide in North Arlington. Police got a call at 3.20 this morning of shots fired on 29th Street in the Williamsburg neighborhood usually a very quiet part of town. 23 year old Michael Gray, the victim in this case, he's of Manassas. He was rushed to a Nova Fairfax hospital after the shooting. He later died at the hospital. This shooting happened at a house party where witnesses say many people were drinking alcohol. Witnesses also say a fight started outside of the house right before the shooting. Now police are looking for Jason Johnson, who they say could be armed and dangerous. The last known information that we had was that he was heading towards Maryland. We do have reason to believe that he's still in the D.C. or Prince George County area. We're asking the public to keep their eyes out. If you see him in this area, please contact police. We are working with our local law enforcement partners on this investigation. And earlier today, witnesses who were at that party told our Ryan Hughes that prior to this fight, the mood at the party was very fun and festive, so this shooting was definitely a shock to those who were there. If you have any information about this shooting or about this crime or this suspect, you're encouraged to call Arlington Police as soon as possible. Live in Arlington, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. Jeff, thank you for that update. You can get ahead of the big stories by signing up for breaking news text alerts at WJLA.com slash text new at 11 the Washington Monument was left in the dark earlier tonight you can see you can barely see it here the National Park Service called in electricians to get those lights on when they failed to turn on themselves the red aviation lights did function normally the lights were out until 720 the cause of the outage is unknown this is the second time the monument has stood in the dark the lights failed to turn on back in early January too it is hard to believe this is still winter after spring-like temperatures this weekend. It's going to be a bit chillier tomorrow. Temperatures climbing again soon, though. Let's get the very latest on the warm forecast with meteorologist Josh Knight. Josh? Hey, Kimberly, that's right. For most of us, we actually hit 70 degrees again today, and we had a ton of sunshine, that dry weather sticking around. You can see that's happening for us on live Doppler this evening. Not too much going on, and a nice night at the harbor as well. Let's work our way to what's going on throughout the rest of the overnight hours. We're going to look for these clear skies to stick around, and that means temperatures do get a bit cooler for us tonight. Most of us are waking up in the 40s tomorrow, where this morning a lot of us did start off in the 50s. Not too much going on on the satellite. You can see just a few clouds right around Frederick County, but that is about it. Temperatures dropping into the 40s already for some of us. Warrington at 43. Meanwhile, almost 60 degrees still in D.C., but tomorrow morning is going to be a bit more on the chilly side. As we do start off cooler in the 40s, we are going to be warming up pretty quickly. 50s for you around 10 o'clock, 56 by 1, topping out right around 59 degrees. Now, tomorrow we're in the 50s, Tuesday we're in the 50s, but we're going to be tracking some rain and then another warm-up. Many days in the 70s on this 10-day forecast. Let's show you when you can get out there and enjoy it. Coming up here in just a bit. Kimberly? Josh, we'll see you then. A developing story tonight. A two-year-old boy remains in critical condition in Tacoma Park after getting hit by a car last night at this apartment complex on Roanoke Avenue. Police say the driver did stay there at the scene. Neighbors have expressed concern about the driveway where the boy was hit, saying it's a popular play area for kids. They want caution signs and even a speed bump installed nearby. The driver is not facing any charges at this time.
Tonight we are learning more about a man who was beaten to death in Northeast D.C. A 76-year-old woman is now charged with his murder. Our Annalisa Gale talked to his nephew, who is coping with having to say one final goodbye. It was just before 1 p.m. on Friday when police found 63-year-old Walter Clark unconscious and suffering from trauma. His nephew, Quinny Clark in South Carolina, got a phone call hours later. When they told me he died, and you know, that hurt. But I was able to deal with it, and then they called back and said it was a homicide. That kind of broke me down. Police quickly arrested 76-year-old Thomasine Bennett. According to court documents, she admitted to striking Walter with a bat. The relationship between the two is unclear. Quinny wonders if there are more suspects involved. I understand he was 63, but she's 76, and I'm just still trying to picture if it was just her by herself.